No, no, well it is, because education is very much based on a particular topic you need to learn fairly Thoroughly. extensively. Yeah, true. Whereas we like to learn like just bits of everything. Bit, yeah. Because then we don't think... Because then you can formulate like crazy ideas. Yeah. Just well, that's great. Like, I mean, you, you feel like you know the idea just by based on the title. Yeah. And Happens ha way too much. <laughs> <laughs> and having that little bit of ignorance tends to help a lot of the time. Oh, it does. If you don't know enough about it. Yeah. And you can start an argument. You can get more information from people. It's and It's good. You can formulate ideas based on, you know... Yeah. Not completely sound facts. <laughs> means you but can rough get ideas. Yeah. Rough ideas. <laughs> uh, cool. what, what I like with this, uh, actually, I think it's pretty cool, um, is that, yeah, just that it... God damn, I, I had something there. I did like <laughs> something about it. Uh, <laughs> no, no, that, that actually how people are... They try to actually measure the, the impact of going back and forth. And like we say that the internet, giving the internet to no one, I still... I, I don't see how it could like make someone dumber. That, that, that's what I... The, the only way would be as a distraction. But then that's exactly the same way as a TV or a game console. Mm. I mean, it's just another way to actually learn what you're interested in. And I mean, our standardized uh, well, learning is through like, I think the tests they did were in maths, like maths is one of them and like English and a few of the others. Yeah. But that's only, that's only uh, learning on that scale. Mm. Well, actually, we should link to this. Uh, this is awesome video by Isaac, Isaac Asimov, mm. like way back in like the seventies or something before the internet was even invented. And he was talking yeah. about how um, in the future you will have um, essentially like a library where you can oh, self-learn and yes, self-educate. Yeah, 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 I remember that video. Yeah, yeah, we should check up the link. I mean, that, that's what we, we have access to it right now. We can self-learn anything. Ooh, an another link I want to put up is a great comic. <laughs> it's, uh, it's fantastic actually okay. saying that now we've uh, finished our learning, uh, well, academia, our learning progress. I don't know, we're, we've graduated uni, we've done all of that. And so then the challenges are now up to us that what we want to learn, it really comes to us because there's no more set challenges. And so if we want to learn something, make it yourself. Do it yourself. Go to Khan Academy. Yeah. Khan Academy is the bomb. Makes sense. Yeah. Cool. Hey, we should talk about our singularity topic this week. Yeah, let's move on to that. Okay. Uh, Humanity Plus recently had their conference mm -hmm. um, about a week back or so. But they just put up a transcript and it does a previous video as well of Stephen Wolfram's talk on the computation and the future of the human condition. Amazing talk. Wow. Yeah. It. Wow. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll talk about it. What you, guys, what you guys should do is read the transcript. We'll, we'll put link to that. And then like maybe a day or two later, watch the video. Yeah. Well, that, that's, that's what we did. We just did. We We're watched the video good. just before this. And just any way you wow. can consume this. Like it, it has been one of the most influential pieces of media that I've yeah. consumed in like the past year. Gonna, like, it's we're definitely going to have to watch it and, and read oh, it again. God, again and again. Like, there's a lot in there. I, I always liked Stephen Wolfram. Like, I thought it was pretty cool, but never he was never at like, you know, the yeah. top level. It was never as like someone that I'd consider like, you know, the one of the forerunners or like, you know, the Yeah. He's got some like a lot of parallel thoughts and a lot oh, of like beyond our own incredible. thoughts as well. It's like you, you, you've got intense. to check out just his his view of this. That well, I, I guess the great thing is he articulates so many of the points that Yeah. What, 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 what's he talking about? Like, we probably can't get it's full credit. It's maybe about but... frogs. frogs. It's odd. <laughs> God, you <laughs> suck. <laughs> it is. It's about frogs. No. Um, There's not a mention of frogs. It's about computation. Sorry. It's about... Computational frogs. Sorry. <laughs> Shut up. It's, a, it's, it's about <laughs> computation. It's, it's about, about like, the, the... That is the core of life. Yeah, the computational universe. Mm. How everything's a computation. Everything. Everything. Anyway. Which makes sense. And he, he kept pointing at fractals. There's this new thing he's uh like he's got Mathematica, Wolfram Alpha, and he's got this thing called uh, a new kind of science yes. NKS. And that essentially kind of cool. Yeah. Essentially that looked like um fractal mathematics and trying to apply fractal mathematics to solve and find I guess things we could use. It emergent properties, really. Yeah. It was like having a basic core yeah. like algorithm or something something really ridiculously yeah, talking basic about rule 30 yeah oh, this well, weird like pyramid yeah but it's you're a fractal saying, i don't know why i didn't mention the word fractal but then yeah like, well it, it is a fractal but it's just pr pretty much the idea that like you know a really basic algorithm that if you expand it enough and repeat it again and again and again it creates just amazing emergent properties and, and, and complexity and complexity yeah like with, with irreducibility yeah well that's it's what so he talked about the right. computational irreducibility which is where that a lot of the time that we like to make models, we like to do all of that. 
uh, like say Galileo looking at uh, say Jupiter and Newton looking at all of the planets that we can actually do a pretty basic assumption about how they orbit and all of that. Yeah. But with computational irreducibility, it comes to a point where you can't reduce the model down any further. You can't actually make a model based on it because that is it. That's everything about it. Yeah. And I, I guess it's really extending, <laughs> saying that computation is the essence of, well, everything. everything yeah. <laughs> And I, I hate to say that because it doesn't really say what it is, but it, it, it is it's difficult to... Well, a, a good thought experiment it came up with there was uh, how to uh, define life. I mean, we don't have a definition of life. Like, look it up. It surprised me. Um, no definition of life. Everyone's arguing about it. Yeah. It's great to actually see what it is. And uh, another, that, and that's what he was saying. That, yeah, what, what is life? And he argued a lot to uh, computational. And there was, was some of the other... There was another two... There was another one about um, how to communicate with aliens. How could we yeah. prove that we're intelligent? We That's far more difficult than you'd yeah. actually believe. <laughs> it it's really it, is. It, it links back to, uh, I think, our previous one, which is a little bit... Our previous episode was a little bit depressing, about how we just think of ourselves as so superior yeah, and so... so amazing. So egotistical. We yeah, really are. When we're not. And, and I mean... It, Consciousness itself is probably just an emergent property. Oh, of course. Like he, he actually he, he reckons. I think he's there's one line where he goes like, yeah, um, everything is most likely deterministic. It's just the emergent property is consciousness and self awareness and mm. and free will. Even yeah. he said free will is just an emergent property, which yeah. makes sense. Makes some sense. I mean, you get into the argument like if you boil it down to we're just machines. I mean, yeah, that's a nice way to go there. I mean, there's definitely a few assumptions here. We we can't deny that he has a lot of assumptions here, but the ones that he makes, it, I'd agree with. I mean, yeah. it's a great thought process. It's just yeah. incredible. And there was one more. It was a uh, about yeah. Uh, how how could we prove that we're intelligent? Hmm. How uh, yeah. How, how do we? Uh, what is life? And there was the uh, there was one more, but I can't remember what it is. I'm not sure. I like the part. Um, he was saying I'll how find it out. I'll put a link. He was saying how technology, um, the way we've made technology recently or mm. so far, has just been incremental. It's all very much reliant on the history, mm. like on the historical context of it all. And he was saying that um, what's going to be happening more and more in the future is we'll be mining from the computational universe, which essentially means like finding equations that you know computational equations yeah and then using that to find ways um, to create technology yeah yeah like so for example the, like the chaos creates it rather than yeah the top down approach the difficult thing is like yeah it's essentially like running a fractal algorithm getting infinite complexity and then trying to find things within that complexity that will actually be useful mm. rather than saying like here's what we want to do here's where we want to be let's make this computer work it out for us to get yeah, there. Step by step. The top the top down actually saying this is what we want yeah. and da 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 this is what would happen. Yeah. It's better because we can actually say, well this is roughly it and then we start going like that and we start predicting bits and we say, oh we like that bit and then it starts going like that. And we're like, oh we like that bit and it goes da da da. Yeah. Um, Which is pretty cool. But what, what what do you think it means? Like what did you pick up in the like the singularity sense type here, I guess? The singularity sense? Yeah, well I mean he he spoke a lot about what it's gonna mean what it's going to be afterwards, Ooh. or the, the purpose of humanity, or... Wait, wait, wait. Oh, yeah, the purpose of humanity. Um, he was well, saying... Just, yeah, like, singularity. Like, we've been saying what his talk oh, is, the but... cool thing at the thoughts? end... The cool thing at the end was just emotional, like... Actually, <laughs> hey, to me, the first time I read it, I was, like, a little bit teary at the he end. He cried. 